Today was the hottest day that we've had so far this week and actually is tied for the hottest day we've had so far this year with some temperatures that we hit just last week. We hit a high of 96 degrees this afternoon, three degrees shy of the record set back in 1988, but it felt like 99 this afternoon because of that increased humidity. You could definitely tell the difference between today and yesterday, even though the high temperatures are only a couple degrees apart. The other side of the story besides the temperatures, the lack of rainfall. We currently have a deficit of over an inch and a half now for the month, so we need to see some rain, get some moisture in the ground, and we might have a slight chance of it tonight. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for our southeastern Kentucky counties. That is in effect until midnight. Thanks to a line of weakening showers and storms dropping down into the region. Something we'll be keeping our eyes on over the next couple of hours. If anybody sees the rain again, it will be in southeastern Kentucky and possibly into our northern East Tennessee counties. Models admittedly not doing a great job with this, but it does look like we'll see some of that rain possibly getting into our East Tennessee counties overnight tonight. Again, I think a lot of folks, especially if you're south of I-40, are probably going to stay dry. But nonetheless, we'll be keeping an eye on that radar for you. Into the day tomorrow, most folks stay dry, except in the mountains or in our far eastern counties. That's where we could have a few pop-up showers and storms along with that daytime heating. So tonight, a few showers and storms, mainly for our northern counties, with lows right around 70 degrees. For the day tomorrow, will start off the day very muggy, but the showers and storms that I'm talking about are associated with a cold front. So once that boundary gets through, drier air will come in as we go through the afternoon. Skies will become mostly sunny and yeah, we're back in the 90s again for the day Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Rain chances stay slim to none on Friday. Saturday, 20% chance of pop up showers and storms, kind of a typical summertime pattern. The next best chance of widespread rainfall will come with a stronger cold front that moves through later Sunday night and into Monday morning. That front will not only bring us some much needed rain, hopefully, but also help to knock our temperatures down from the 90s back into the mid 80s, which is where we should be for this time of year.